Hey y'all, welcome back to part five of the bear. We're gonna show you what we did in the corner for the refrigeration and the air conditioning system. Uh. Nothing is quite typical at yacht shops. Instead of making framing out of two by fours, we decided to do everything out of aluminum, keeping it very similar to the way the unit is built. So this makes it a um, much stronger Faraday cage. It makes a much more solid kind of structure. And then we'll be applying the plywood. We're gonna use birch plywood throughout and we'll apply that over each area and we'll have the aluminum to adhere to. So similar to framing construction, but done with the aluminum, keeps everything the same. So right now we're gonna put the AC in and we're gonna put the refrigerator down below it, make sure check fit for everything, see how it works and show you guys what it looks like. All right, the way this system works, which it's a hose line air conditioning, it works out really good because it works off the inverter, works off the truck, it'll work off shore power, depending on how it's set up or how you switch it when you get it started. So as you can see, this will be the exhaust for the AC. This will be where the cold air comes out and this will get plated over here. We'll have two vents directional. And then on this side, this will be where the warm air goes in, sucks through the back of the unit, through the coil and blows back out the front. So it'll create like a big circular cooling system in here, which will work really nice, especially with the AC being high up in the air. As you know, cold air goes down. So that fits nice. We'll be insulating this, putting it all together, but nice to see that after everything was welded up, we have a really nice fit. So things are working out for us. So interestingly enough, we found a um, little bird in the back here. When I stripped out of the insulation, it says Buddha, obviously. But you can see it's got contact cement on top of it from where they had put the insulation on. So that wasn't something that we wrote. And it does fit with our Buddha Zen-like feel. But like Wayne Dwyer said, be Christ-like, not Christian. Be Buddha-like, not a Buddhist. Time for the refrigerator. Pretty nice setup. You got the freezer on this side and the fridge on this side. What I really like about this compared to the way it would have been before is we brought the air conditioning section up from the old box. So it's higher up. We cut out all the wasted space. Now this is only like a little two inch section in between the two of them and it brings the refrigerator up much higher. So for me, very easy to get stuff in and out. I can see the bottom tray as easily. I can also see the top. If it was down further, it wouldn't be quite this convenient, I don't believe. So it's a little nicer, but we're still keeping our AC up high where it needs to be. And then also the really nice thing about this is we do have this large space down here, which will be, this part of it will be dry storage, and the other side will be the inverter and all of the other wires, like I mentioned earlier. So this came out much nicer by bringing it up, welding it, getting rid of the old material that was here. Also, if you'll notice on the floor, this was the size of the old box. The old box came out to here and to here on this side. Now we will be putting a piece of three quarter plywood down, or probably five eighths, down on this face, which will bring us back a little bit, but you'll still have a much larger, much more open space. Even if it's only a couple inches here and a couple inches there, it gives more volume to the interior. So we hope you like this video. This is video number five again of the Bear series. Next project that we're gonna start on is plating the queen bed into place and making all of the framing for that. So if you stay tuned, we'll have another quick video out for you later on this week. And we appreciate you all watching. Make something cool. We'll talk at you all soon.